We're part of history in this project. We're part of history because the demographic revolution has been happening for some time. However, it wasn't until this last century that things really sped up, where we doubled life expectancy for humans in our countries, and we're on track to push past 80 and even 90 and maybe even 100 years old in the near future. I think we are at the moment at a tipping point. And that makes me a little bit emotional too, because I worked 20 years, more than 20 years, in the lab doing lots of research. And a year ago, I founded a private practice to really bring health and longevity medicine into clinical practice. And now I see there is so much involvement of the media, there is so much excitement, there is so much consumer-driven aspects. Consumers want us to speak up that we can really change healthcare. There's been a revolution in our understanding about health and longevity, and this knowledge has, has really transformed my life. The interesting thing is that most people, and in fact, many of my colleagues, including myself, were unaware of this information. So I've, I've made it my mission to help get this knowledge out there. We have a product that can tell your biological age for a blood test. Uh, you can also think of it as your immune age. Uh, but in the background, we uh, publish about 30 papers a year and look at a whole host of different conditions uh, from autoimmune to cardiometabolic, where in many cases we see the uh, glycan pattern change a decade before disease. And then we look at different interventions you can do to prevent that. Welcome to the breathtaking landscapes of Costa Rica. We've come here to bring you a series like no other. I'm your host, and together we'll explore the secrets, the science, the inspiring stories of living a longer, healthier life. This is Reverse Longevity. Buckle up for a ride like never before. Of course, in the end, it should not be for the richest to be much more healthier, but everybody should be able to use all the markers to test themselves. How do I age at this moment in time? And how can I intervene and make myself better? Thank you.